someone there? I can hear you. <laughs> Who is that? Who's in there? Welcome to the Damien and Devlin Show, and this is our review of the movie Saw. 2004 film directed by James Wan and starring Carrie Elwes, Lee Winnell, Danny Glover, Monica Potter, and Tobin Bell. And uh, you're free to go. There's no chain on that. Oh, okay. Excellent. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, while he's gone, I'll tell you a little bit about the movie. This was a small independent movie. They were two friends. Uh, that would be James Wan and Lee Winnell, and they wrote this story for Saw. They live in Australia and couldn't get the financing. They made a little bit of money, and they made a short film that was based on one of the very popular scenes in this movie featuring a bear trap. That's all I'll say. A reverse bear trap to make it sound even worse. Anyhow, their agent told them the only way you're going to get money for a horror movie is to go to L.A. They couldn't afford it. The agent packed them up, sent them on his own uh, dime, and they got the money, and they made Saw, which went on to become a juggernaut of a film, and is responsible for kicking off the, uh, I guess you'd call it the torture porn gore uh, fest that, you know, included movies like Hostel and movies like that, where it was all about you know, the gore and, and torture of it all. And Saw was the one that kicked it all off. Just like me, kicking it off in style. I know you guys didn't want to sit and listen to him drag her on all day, so here I am. I'm back. Hope you didn't miss me too much. Now, this was Damien's pick, and uh, you watched this again when you were young. Yeah, uh, it came out in 2004. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing commercials for it on TV, and I remember being so intrigued by it. Wow, that looks so good. I want to watch that movie. It looks so neat. So a good old case of family bonding. My mom went one at 2004 Halloween afternoon to get it rented from Blockbuster. Remember that? And then we uh, watched it together. Ah, uh, family times. Absolutely. I actually watched this at a very dark period of my time. I rented it as well at Blockbuster. I think I bought it. I didn't really rent. I bought used copies. And I watched this, like, literally between my dad's death and the funeral. I know I should have probably been watching more happy stuff, maybe some musicals, something like that. But instead, I was watching darker stuff, like Saw. And surprisingly enough, I actually really liked it. So, this is our review of Saw. And what's your original take on this movie? Like, what are your positives of Saw? I thoroughly enjoy the storyline. Uh, for the first few movies. I felt it was really well thought out. I enjoy the characters a lot. The character development, I feel, is phenomenal. Excellent. They're all very fleshed out. You know why they're making the choices that they're making, why they're saying the things that they are saying. I feel pretty much every single character on screen has a backstory, for the most part. It's a good origin story. It for is. A, to kick off a franchise, it's, it's wonderful. And... It really makes you think, too. I like that as well. It makes you think. And there's there's a spoiler in it, and I'm not going to reveal what happens, but it's staring at you in the face the entire movie. And at the end of the movie, I remember seeing it for the very first time. When it happened, that big twist right at the end there, I remember going, What? And even to this day, re-watching it, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm going, How? How? Because it's just so well thought out, and you never see it coming. Never once. So I really enjoy that aspect as well. I enjoy the cleverness of the different traps. I enjoy... It, it's going to sound dark and morbid, but I enjoy aspects of Jigsaw's... Uh, some people are just so ungrateful to be alive. Mm -hmm. And then he tests them. Do you really want to be alive? Prove it. Yeah. I, I enjoy that, to be quite honest, because it's true. Some people are so very ungrateful to be alive. They take what they have for granted, especially in this day and age. And I feel like 
even as dark and as morbid as that is, I, f I really like that. Fight to be alive, because you deserve to be. Yeah, is that your positives? Yeah. Uh, my big positive, I can't give him enough credit, is James Wan. Uh, as a director, again, I'm not sure if this was his first movie, but it is such an impressive piece of work. Uh, just the way he films shots, he uses some neat angles, he uses like camera flashes, he uses just some neat mm -hmm. twists. Uh, he speeds up the film in processes, but not in a weird kind of way, but a really good time lapse sort of way, but it, it, it actually puts some tension on you. And I just think he, he went on to go on to, I think he directed the Conjuring uh, movies. He did a Fast and the Furious movie. And he, this movie, when you watch it, says, I am here. And it's no surprise he is like one of the hot names in Hollywood right now because he is just amazing. And this movie is, you see all that. Uh, I agree with you that I liked the, I love, one of the aspects of Sly Love is the games. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who don't know, the movie, first of all, is another thing I love because it starts, bang, you're right in it. Instead of doing all the development and then we get into it, Saw throws you right into it so you feel like you're in that room. And basically, without giving anything away, it's about two guys who wake up in a room together, chained on opposite sides with weird things in this creepy... Like, you couldn't find a creepier warehouse bathroom I that you could. Sewers. Yeah, no, it, it would be. Sewers. And it was just, like, it's a wonderful way to start. Within five minutes, you're engrossed, and you're, mm -hmm. you're in there. And then they develop the characters as the story goes along. So it was a nice, nice way to do it. But I like the intricacies of the game. And even though I think Saw is the best that I have seen in the series... The games get even more fun as the movies go on, but in this one, there's a lot of stuff, and it makes me wonder, you know, would I survive this game? Because he puts you through dilemmas, like you have to sacrifice something in order to get out, and usually it's it can be something physical, it can be something mental, and it makes me think, and I guess, you know, when I was watching it, you know, in a dark place, I was like... Would I be able to do this, or am I dying? You know, and and that's a wonderful thing about this movie. And Can you just pause for a second, yeah. and I, I just want to focus on the fact that you said the games get more fun as the movie. Well, no, on. fun as they become more intricate. <laughs> well, is as that in, what you consider fun? Yeah, no, I mm, self mutilation. Uh, it's the bee's knees. Look, I'm not saying you should go out and try this at home. Yeah. I'm just saying when I say fun, it's like they get more creative. They get more. Okay. Dark and twisted. Careful how you word I know. People I know. might think you're actually Jigsaw. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> but anyhow, yeah, and uh, I like the cast a lot in here. Like, as mm -hmm. I remember watching it going, <laughs> it's sad when you watch a movie and you're like, oh, whatever did happen to Carrie Elwes? It's nice to see him back on the screen because he did a whole pile of movies. Then he seemed to disappear. And he's actually really good in this movie. Um, and uh, and so are some of the other people. I, I really liked, you know, the cast, and it's a nice little package. Okay. So that's my positives. Okay. Uh, going back off of uh, what you were talking about, how the movie was filmed, the cinematography, uh, James Wan, obviously, since he directed it, I had no idea he did The Conjuring, and I've seen The Conjuring. It was one of my favorite horror movies. So that's definitely awesome i haven't seen the fast and furious one that he's directed so i'm looking forward to getting around to seeing that eventually it's very fast and furious who'd have thought <laughs> who'd have thought uh but that one scene when uh, adam is in his apartment and there's somebody in the apartment with him and he's taking photographs to illuminate i think that was really neat and probably one of my favorite scenes in the entire film Negatives, uh, so I did briefly touch on how I felt all the characters were developed. There were two in particular I felt weren't developed and didn't really care much for, and that was uh, Leonard, that's Carrie Elwes, is that his character? Yeah, yeah. That's Carrie Elwes' character, his name's Leonard. He's got a wife and a daughter. His wife is poorly acted. Poorly. I could care less what happens to her, to be quite honest. She gets better as an actress. Uh, Monica Potter, she eventually starred in the TV version of Parenthood. Very good in that. But, yeah, she doesn't get a lot to work with, and she chews a lot of scenery. I just felt that she was mopey, she was whiny, she was boring, and I would cheat on her, too. 
Not actually. Oh, I'm man. Saying, did you go there? You're the talking daughter, about me being dark. The daughter, I felt, was leagues above her in acting quality. But at the same time, it, it's a little girl. Like, you can't really develop that much because as a person, she's still developing. So I'll, I'll give her a pass. But the acting quality of the daughter compared to the wife, Huge difference. Huge. She gets better. With regards to the plot, I do. Uh, I feel like the movie might have slowed down a little bit at times, especially when we came out of the room to discover their backstories. And I feel like the backstories are important. Yeah. But there is a big chunk where you're not in is. the room, and it it's is. a little too too away from the room. I would agree. Uh, I did like when we we sidetracked. We got to see the other games that took place before the actual room. I liked that. But I, I don't care about Leonard and his, his affair. I don't care about Adam taking pictures of people. I don't care. I just want to watch the game unfold. Yeah, is that all your negatives? I see my time ran out, so I have to... <laughs> no, there's no time here. Uh, my negatives are, as much as I loved watching Saw, this is only the second, maybe third time I've seen it. And you might not like hearing this, but I found it had some trouble with rewatchability. A lot of classic horrors like Halloween and The Exorcist and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I can watch them over and over again and I'm still on the edge of my seat. I've only seen this maybe once or twice since the original time and I was starting to like de-analyze it. Like I loved looking at the stylization, but I started thinking, how did he put this together? How could he have carried that there and put that there? How could he have known that person was going to run down that hall? And I had issues with that. And I shouldn't be watching a movie worried about that, but I noticed that the rewatchability of this, I thought for me, this isn't something I could watch every year. It, it's almost like something I could watch maybe I have to really forget about it and then get into it. But, you know, not all horrors are like that. Um... I love the character, uh, I don't think Jigsaw is the name of the little puppet. No, it's Billy. Okay, see, when you, Billy, when you do the franchise, you need to have a really awesome, you know, you got your Freddies, you got your Jasons, your Michael Myers, and I really thought Billy was good. Very ominous when he comes on that screen and he's always like... Billy's the mannequin riding the tricycle. Hello. For that don't know. Hello, and he does that slow turn. It's really creepy. I want to play a game. When he comes out in the little tricycle, as though I love the... <laughs> I think it's the most silly thing ever, and it kind of kills his credibility. No, it's creepy. Imagine it's creepy. Jason just shows up on a tricycle all of a sudden, <laughs> and then you realize he's like this big. <laughs> so anyhow, that's a problem I have with this movie. Um, and as I said, I love the story. I think the story is actually really well done. But when you actually sit and think about it and think of the games, some of the games are just, as you said, there's a really big plot twist at the end, which is an awesome plot twist. But when you rewatch it, you sometimes find yourself watching things going, how can that plot twist happen when that just happened, and then they reveal things that we can't really yeah. talk about because we don't want to go too well, into spoilers. I'm not going to spoil anything, but with regards to that, electrocution. I just, I have to ask, how is the electrocution happening? And uh, I, I want to talk about it, but I can't. I know. But how are they being electrocuted? That's all I'm going to ask, is how are they being electrocuted? And nobody notices. I personally do think that you should check this movie out. It is an iconic movie. I do, even though I say it doesn't have rewatchability, I do think it is a, a horror classic. And I really think it should be up there with, you know, the names of the big ones like Halloween and well, Psycho and The Exorcist. To me, it's up there. Yeah, me, it, it is. It's definitely up there in horror classics. All right, so. Um, three and a half. Three and a half? Three and a half. All right. Three well, have to think about it. I think this might be the first time we've done this, but I'm going to go three and a half too. I actually, no way. I actually thought I was going to go into wow. this higher, but when I rewatched it and realized I was thinking of all the wrong things, and 
as much as there's some really nice scary effects in here, they're not. There should be more scares in here. I would agree with that. Yes. And so I'm gonna go three and a half two. Amazing. And so we have agreed on something. So the world's about to yeah. end. So watch this, like, subscribe, comment before it does, because this never happens. No, because even when he likes movies, he usually goes about two points less than me, <laughs> because he, you know. The fashions or something. And here we go. This is why I can't work with this guy sometimes. <laughs> Anyhow, that is our review of Saw. We have more Halloween greatness coming up for you. And thank you for pressing play and, and joining us for this. And we hope you do that a lot. And since you press play, go over and hit like. Don't steal my lines. Sorry. You're stealing my lines. This is what I have to deal with. So you hit like. Tell us you like us. Me in particular, and you don't like him taking my lines, subscribe, because you always want to be notified when we release a new video. And then also comment. Tell us what you think. What are your thoughts? I mean, we've been pretty educated so far by some of your comments, so keep those up. And then also, maybe we'll want to hear what you want us to see next. You never know what's going to happen. So stay with us, and we'll see you very soon.